Hi, uh, my name is Mort Chatterjee and I'm one half of Chatterjee in Love and today I'd like to take you through our exhibition of Nasreen Mohammadi, Autobiography of a Line, uh, the photographs, prints and paper cutouts of the artist. And the exhibition has been curated by Sasha Altaf. And in fact, today is the last day um, of the exhibition and uh, so we thought it'd be nice just to talk a little bit about it and about how it came about. Uh, we've been showing Mohammadi's works now for I'd say about 17, uh, 18 years. Our uh, first exhibition was in 2004-05 and that was a two-part retrospective at uh, the previous gallery that we had in Bombay. And since then, we've had a number of exhibitions looking at different parts of her practice. What's really rare and unique about this exhibition is the fact that we have so many of her vintage photographs on display. So I'd love to show you some of those as well as the prints and the paper cutouts. So first um, I'd like to show you these uh, vintage prints uh, which look at her relationship with nature, um, in particular uh, the area of Kihim uh, off the uh, coast of uh, Bombay and uh, these uh, are very close to her heart because of course she had a home in Kihim uh, for many years and in fact this is where she uh, passed away. Um, the whole exhibition really functions as a way of thinking through photography in Nasreen's, in Mohammadi's life. And I think Sasha Altaf's point really is that one has to see there as being a very close link between the photographs and then how they relate to her works on paper uh, in particular. Um, and so whether we're talking about these kind of organic shapes or then if I can take you to these this pair of photographs where you see more inorganic shapes perhaps uh, spinning wheels used in the textile industries in both cases we're interested in how these images then inform uh, her paperworks what's interesting is that she never actually displayed these photographs in her lifetime and in fact, the first time that they were put on public display was for her 1991 uh, retrospective uh, after she passed at the Jahangir Art Gallery in uh, Bombay. So a body of work was displayed by her family at that point in time. And since then, it's really been a case of uh, scholars rethinking um, where photography lies in the overarching practice of Mohammadi. In these black and white photographs, you see these sort of cropped images, close zoomed up images of um, pavements, roads, road signs. And I think here in these geometric lines, one starting to see perhaps more clearly the reference to um, her works on paper, uh, drawings, especially her later ones from the 1980s. We've tried to be as faithful as possible to uh, Mohammadi's original um, framing. Uh, indeed, these uh, metallic uh, frames and these slightly grey mounts are very similar to the ones that she used uh, in her own lifetime for um, the photographs that she made. As I said, she didn't display them publicly, but uh, in private collections, in her own collection, uh, this is pretty much how, how they looked. In terms of the prints, uh, we might have some difficulty in showing you um, in detail this work because it is so subtle, but this is uh, an embossed etching, a uh, blind embossed etching. Again, very difficult to date, pro most probably from the 1980s. One can see these abstract geometric shapes which very much talk to um, those very sparse, minimal works of uh, her last uh, years. Uh, and then 
Alongside this, we have this extraordinary triptych of paper cutouts, uh, very rare. Um, another group was shown at the retrospectives at the Rena Sophia and at the Metropolitan Museum of Art around seven or eight years ago. And I'd like you just to maybe see the forms here and then see how they relate to the last work I'm going to show you in the exhibition, which is a uh, silkscreen print. And again, one can see the form very similar to the paper cutouts and again, somewhat similar to the photographs and the shapes uh, that we've already seen. So as you can see, uh, over a number of different mediums, Mohammadi is thinking through similar questions and um, coming to similar conclusions about how to approach uh, form in her works. And I think this is something that Sasha has brought out brilliantly uh, in the exhibition. Um, with that, I think I'm going to conclude my little walkthrough, but thank you so much for joining me. And uh, I'm sure there'll be other walkthroughs coming soon of further exhibitions. Thanks so much.